What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush, Let's Talk Jets Radio. We want to thank everybody that's been joining us on the live streams and our call-in show on Tuesdays. We definitely appreciate it. As some of you know, we had an exclusive guest last night on our uh, YouTube channel, Let's Talk Jets Radio. Adam Gase joined us, which was completely fascinating. So we want to thank him for joining us as well. Um, you know, today's injury report comes out, and obviously you don't take Jets Chiefs very seriously, but Crowder's out, Perryman's out. And you look at this offense, and you look at what Sam Darnold's dealing with, and you're like, you can't see how this offense puts up more than 200 yards on Sunday. Um, I think if they get any yards, probably late in the game, once Andy Reid calls, calls the dogs off. So if they get 250 yards of you know, offense, whatever, it's going to be all in garbage time when they're playing prevent defense, just trying to get the hell out of the stadium with their big win. Um, and you look at the Sam Darnold story as a whole, and this this ending, this story has a very predictable ending. And it's sad. The, the story is going to be sad because a, a career promised the New York Jets with Sam Darnold is going to be a career of misery where he can't get out of here fast enough from his own standpoint and from the team standpoint. The team has failed him. He hasn't played well, and it's just an epic disaster. So from a team perspective, there you have to go. You have to move on from Sam Darnold at this point. There is nothing he could do the rest of the season to prove uh, to redeem himself and say, you know what, I'm going to be a franchise quarterback. This general manager is going to want to bring in his, his own head coach with his own quarterback and make it a true reset. So from a front office standpoint, their answer is obvious. Gase is going to be gone. doesn't really matter what he thinks. From an ownership standpoint, you can you can sell Trevor Lawrence to this team. That's going to be your way to sell tickets and have a face of your franchise, and that's your reset button as well. For Sam Darnold, you want that reset button. You want to get the hell out of here because say he stays here next year and the Jets pass on Trevor Lawrence and they don't get him. The first bad game he has, the Wolves are going to come out, the media's going to come out, the fans are going to come out. It's like the damage is already done on and off the field. It's literally done. And, I mean, on the field, he's making a lot of mistakes, too. Not making good reads, game management, time management. I mean, he needs just a change of scenery where he can get another coach in his ear, a qualified, proven, winning coach in his ear to say, you know what, let me help rebuild you. He may not have to start. He can sit out. Like, the Steelers make a lot of sense. You go to Vikings, sit behind Kirk Cousins. Go to a place, shit, go to Tampa Bay, sit behind uh, Tom Brady. Go somewhere where you can just sit back and watch and learn and just breathe. So this story is obvious. And it's sad. You, you can see it happening. It won't happen at the trade deadline because you want to have him ride out the rest of this because you want to make sure you get the first pick. And, you know, God knows with the Jets, you, you trade away Sam at the deadline, Joe Flacco may win some games for all we know. But um, at the end of the year, you trade him. You have to move on. It is time. I mean, what are, you, what are we going to see on Sunday? What are you going to see against the Seahawks, the Raiders? I mean, this year's going to be ass kickings. And there's nothing around him. I mean, Denzel Mims, by the time he showed some things, but by the time he becomes proven, this season's over. So it's a it's a, a colossal just mess. And if you wanted to write a blueprint how to destroy a young quarterback, the Jets have done it over and over and over again. And this is this is their biggest mistake ever, is how this all happened with Sam Darnold, where he actually played better under Todd Bowles, a defensive minded coach, than this offensive guru. So again, I'm saying it both ways. For the Jets, you got to move on. For Sam, they got to move on. They they are all guilty. They are all guilty together at how it's all went poorly. Yes, Sam worked with Jordan Palmer, but he hasn't gotten better on his own. He hasn't been taking on more of a leadership role. He's making the same mistakes. And the team put nothing around him. They're not coaching him well. And they're throwing him out into mess after mess after mess. Some of this on Joe Douglas. I don't know why Joe Douglas is getting a pass. I mean, the Robbie Anderson, Brashard Perryman thing is a mess. The running back position hasn't been handled well. This rebuilt offensive line, which is supposed to be Joe Douglas' thing, is not exactly great other than Becton. You can make an argument you still need three more linemen, which is not good. But all in all, it sucks. This sucks. And now it's like if you're looking for a glimmer of hope, it's going to be in your next quarterback, <clears throat> excuse me, once again, and that's probably Trevor Lawrence, and do it the right way. Build the offensive line. Get your anchors. Protect the quarterback. Build your offense around your quarterback. And bring in a coach that knows what the fuck he's doing. Period.